Hi everyone, so this video on the gradient between two points. Um, so we've got two points here, A and B. So if we coordinates 3 minus 1 on the X, uh, 3 on the X, minus 1 on the Y, and minus 1 and 2. So I've put this on autograph. So this one is our B, which was minus 1, 2, and this one must be our A, which is... Um, one, two, three across, minus one. We're trying to find the gradient of the line going between the two points, so I'll put a line on there. So there's a straight line, okay? And what does the gradient mean? Well, you know from GCSE, you should have seen uh, MX plus C. This gradient, this M bit, okay, means the rate of change. The rate of change. So as, what does that really mean, the rate of change? It's saying, as each unit of x increases, how much does y increase as a result? You see, so if m was 2, so it's saying that when x is 1, y will be 2 lots, of, it would go up by 2, won't it? Because that plus c will always stay the same. So if c was 0, right, if that was just gone, for every unit of x, 1x, and if m was 2, you'd get y as 2 lots of x. So y is going up, increasing twice as fast as x is increasing, okay? And we know that that plus c, that should be our y-intercept. So when y is 0, uh, sorry, when x is 0, y must be c, okay? We're not looking at that right now, we're concentrating on m. So m is our gradient. And the formula for m is y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. And what is y2 and y1 and stuff? Well, if you've got two coordinates, a, which is x1, y1, and b, uh, x2, and y2, then you're literally just following this mantra of the formula. So for a, which is 3 minus 1, uh, and for B, which is minus 1, 2, we're saying Y2 then is 2 from here, and minus, and Y1 is minus 1, so minus 1. We've got minus 1 in our X for our X2, and we're minusing, because of the minus here, minus X1, which is 3. So we've got 2 take take 1, which is 3. And minus 1 at minus 3 is minus 4. So our gradient is minus 3 over 4. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Because our line is going downwards. It's not going up. So actually, as x increases, y is going down. So it makes sense to have a negative gradient. And you can see here this triangle being formed, this right angle triangle. This is what the gradient really means. It's, it's talking about the steepness of of your y versus your x, okay? And you can see where this triangle's come from. It's the difference in the y values, isn't it? So if y is two here, and y is minus one here, and as the graph is going downwards, you can see that you're basically, as it's going down, it's gonna be a negative number. And the distance between them is three, let's say. Whereas here, we've got an x-coordinate of 3 and we've got an x-coordinate of minus 1. The difference between them is 4. And as x is kind of moving that way, if we go from left to right, we'll say that's positive. So you can see that the gradient is your change in y over change in x, I hope. So it should be pretty self-explanatory uh, for the next bit if we just follow the formulas then. So it's just identifying what's x1 and what's x2 and y2, okay? So we're saying m is change in y over change in x. So if we understand that, we should just be able to put in the numbers. So minus 1, minus always, minus 3 from here and here. And then 4, keep it consistent, right? Keep that. If you're going to start with b, just keep with b the whole way. So 4, subtract, and then a minus 4. So minus 4, take, take 3 is plus 2, and 4 minus minus 4 is 8. So your gradient is a quarter. M is a quarter. <laughs> Last one here then. So we should be getting pretty good at this. So y2 is 6, y1 is 11, x2 is minus 6, 
minus 10. Just be careful. It's always changing y over changing x. Changing y over changing x, all right? So that's minus 5 over minus 6. Minus 10 is minus 16. So the minuses cancel, and m is 5 over 16.